Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss an important topic which is dipole moment and inshallah we will try to solve some important MCQs which are based on dipole moment. So simply dipole moment is a combination of two words dipole. A molecule having positive and negative part is called dipole and moment means when we placed such a molecule in an electric field so its positive end will go towards its negative part of electric field and obviously the negative part of the dipole molecule will be attracted towards the negative part respectively so simply we can say that the measure of polarity of a molecule is called what dipole moment for example if a molecule having more difference of electronegativity and having more charge separation is called you will have to have more polarity and the measure of polarity is called what dipole moment which is denoted by this symbol which is called a mu and it is equal to e into d e is the charge and d is the difference the distance sorry between the two charges for example if we have hcl so obviously it is the partial positive part it is the partial negative part so the difference of electronegativity which produce the charge separation and the distance between them which represent here the bond moment in this uh, heteroatomic diatomic molecule so the measure of polarity of a molecule is called dipole moment and polarity now what is polarity polarity actually means the unequal electronic distribution or the unequal charge distribution around the central atom in the polyatomic molecule is called what is called polarity First of all, we have to know about what is polarity. So simply, the unequal distribution of electron around the central atom. For example, if we have only a diatomic molecule, so here the polarity is very simple, which is equal to the difference of electronegativity between these two bonded atoms. If we subtract the electronegativity of hydrogen from chlorine or fluorine, etc., so simply, it is a diatomic molecule, which is heteroatomic, so simply its polarity is equal to the difference of this electronegativity between these two bonded atoms. But if we have a polyatomic molecules like carbon dioxide, like NH3, CH4, etc. So in such molecules, the polarity is defined as the unequal charge distribution. Charge means electron around the central atom in a polyatomic molecule is called polarity. So obviously those molecules which are as a whole what? Non-polar. Which as a whole, kya hai? Non-polar due to unequal, uh, sorry, due to equal distribution of charge around the central atom will have zero dipole moment. So first of all, we will discuss those molecules which have resultant zero dipole moment. So those molecules which are as a whole what? Non-polar. Why they are non-polar? Because the electron have been distributed, the charge has been distributed around the central atom. What equally? لازمی سی بات ہے کہ جس میں الیٹرانک ڈسٹریبیوشن ایکول ہے اس میں پولیریٹی نہیں ہے اگر پولیریٹی نہیں ہے تو سچ مالیکیولز ویل ہیف ریزلٹنٹ زیرو ڈائپول مومنٹ ناو وٹ آر دوز ٹائپس آف مالیکیولز وچ ہیو زیرو ڈائپول مومنٹ نمبر فسٹ لینئر پولی ایٹامک مالیکیولز لائک کاربن ڈائی ایکسائٹ کاربن ڈائی سلفائٹ آر بیریلیم کلورائٹ ویل ہیو زیرو ڈائپول مومنٹ فار ایگزامپل ایز وی نو carbon dioxide which have positive and negative parts but still here it is its resultant dipole moment is zero because in polyatomic molecule the resultant dipole moment is derived from the bond moments and dipole moment is represented by this arrow which is from positive towards the negative part of molecule with a cross tail so if here we see that both the bond moments are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction so they will cancel the effect of each other and such molecules will have resultant zero dipole moment because here the electron have been distributed around this carbon in carbon dioxide equally when there is no charge separation or when there is the charge uh, distribution is equal around the central atom it is the central part of this carbon dioxide or if we have carbon disulfide or if we have beryllium chloride so here the charge has been distributed equally around the central beryllium obviously these bond moments will cancel the effect of each other and such molecules will have zero dipole moment so simply 
Now, number second, triagonal planar molecules like BF3, aluminum chloride, or sulfur trioxide, etc. have what? Zero dipole moment. Now, we will discuss it with the help of structures of these compounds. For example, BF3, as we know, boron is the member of group third and it has three valence electron. So obviously, there are three bound pairs around the central boron. It is the central part of BF3 molecule. So here, the charge has been distributed equally around the central boron. So such molecules will obviously will have zero dipole moment. These are the bond moments of what? Of BF3. Or if we draw the same structure for aluminum chloride, or as we know, sulfur is the member of group six. So it have six valence electron and it can expand its octet due to the availability of what? D subshell. As sulfur is the member of what? Third period. So obviously here is D subshell available due to which sulfur can expand its octet. It can form six covalent bonds by sharing all six valence electron. So sulfur trioxide is also trigonal planar like BF3 like ALCL3 and its resultant dipole moment will be what? Zero. So all trigonal planar molecules will have zero dipole moment. The third one, tetrahedral molecules like CH4, carbon tetrachloride, silicon hydride, etc. will also have zero dipole moment. So if we draw the tetrahedral structure of CH4 or SiH4 or SiCl4 or CCl4 etc. All of these share its valence 4 electrons and have 4 bond pairs around the central carbon atom which will cancel the effect of each other and the resultant will vector. For example, if we add these bond moments by head to tail rule, so the resultant will have zero because all will cancel the effect of each other. So such tetrahedral molecules in which the central atom is attached to four equal atoms. It should be keep in mind students that all the attached atoms should be same. For example, if we have CCl2 and F2, it is also tetrahedral, but here carbon is attached to two chlorine and two fluorine. So obviously we know that the electronegativity of chlorine and fluorine is different from each other. So here the charge can't be equally distributed around the central carbon atom. Although it is tetrahedral like CCl4, but it will have resultant dipole moment. Its dipole moment will not be zero. So, so we should keep in mind that those tetrahedral in which the central element is attached to all four same atoms, such molecules will have zero dipole moment. Now, the other case that triagonal biopyramidal, just make a steric number central atom ka kya hoga? Pyf hoga, which have sp3d hybridized. So, like pcl5 or for example pbr5 phosphorus pentachloride or phosphorus pentabromide will also have zero dipole moment and the fifth one is all octahedral octahedral means octahedral molecules in which the steric number of the central atom is what six which have sp3d2 hybridization such molecules will also have zero dipole moment like sf6 sulfur is attached to six fluorine atoms like for example scl6 etc so such molecules which have steric number of six and there are six bond pairs around the central atom we should keep in mind that as a whole the charge distribution should be equal so charge equally distribute tab hoga Tab students, jab central atom, ek jaise atoms ko attach ho, ya sare kya ho, bond pairs ho, there should be no lone pair. Now, we will discuss those molecules which have resultant dipole moment. Those molecules which have resultant dipole moment. So, in which mu is not equal to what? Zero. So, number first, heteroatomic heteroatomic and diatomic molecules. Yani molecule kya hoga? Diatomic 
लेकिन डाया एटामिक क्या होगा हेड्रो एटामिक होगा लाइक like, ये भी डाया एटामिक है बट इट इज होमो एटामिक सो ऑब्वियसली इट्स टाइपोल मोमेंट विल बी जीरो बिकॉज द चार्ज हैज बीन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एमंग द टू एटम्स इन द सेम वे बट इफ वी हैव एच सी एल ऑब्वियसली द इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर विल बी मोर क्लोजर टूवर्ड्स क्लोरिन बिकॉज द इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिविटी ऑफ क्लोरिन इज मोर देन हाइड्रोजन और फॉर एग्जाम्पल एच एफ ऑब्वियसली एच एफ विल हैव हाई डायपोल मोमेंट दैट देन एच सी एल सो आल हेट्रो एटामिक मालिक्यूल्स विच आर ऑल्सो डाया एटामिक will have resultant dipole moment and its dipole moment will depend on the difference of electronegativity on the difference of electronegativity between bonded atoms so it is simple ho gaya ki sare jo diatomic aur heteroatomic molecules hai uska resultant dipole moment hoga jo ki depend karega on its difference of electronegativity between the bonded atoms now second case that such those molecules which have both bond pair as well as lone pairs around the central atom like for example if we have nh3 or nf3 or pcl3 etc which are we know that these are triagonal pyramidal shape triagonal pyramidal shape here are three बॉन्ड पेयर प्लस वन एक यहाँ पर स्टूडेंट क्या होगा लोन पेयर होगा सो आई वी नो दैट द इफेक्ट ऑफ लोन पेयर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द वट बॉन्ड पेयर सो सच मालिक्यूल्स विच हैव बोथ लोन पेयर एज वेल एज बॉन्ड पेयर अराउंड द सेंट्रल एटम विल हैव रिजल्ट डायपोल मोमेंट लाइक एन एच थ्री यहाँ पर ये एक होगा लोन पेयर एज वी नो दैट नाइट्रोजन इज द मेम्बर ऑफ ग्रुप फिफ्थ सो ऑब्वियसली देयर आर फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स Three electron have been shared with three hydrogen, are here in NF three with three fluorine, and here we also have one lone pair. So such molecules, which have both lone pair as well as bond pair, like triagonal pyramidal shape, will have resultant dipole moment. Now, the next one, for example, angular shape molecules, angular molecules. For example, simple. If we have water, as we know, oxygen is the member of group six. Obviously, there are six electrons. Two electron of oxygen have been shared with two hydrogen atom. So these are two bond pairs, and two electron pair remain inert, which are also present here in the form of lone pairs. So in water. there are two lone pair and two bond pair around the central oxygen atom so here the distribution of charge is not equal so obviously as a whole the water is what polar and it will have resultant dipole moment here the dipole moment will be not equal to zero so all triagonal pyramidal all angular molecules and in the same way hetero and diatomic molecules will have resultant dipole moment and for example third case that triagonal bipyramidal triagonal bipyramidal for example sf4 as we know sulfur is the member of what group 6 so here are six valence electron in which four have been shared with four fluorine so here are four bond pairs and one here is what lone pair so such bipyramidal molecules will have resultant dipole moment this ka bhi resultant dipole moment hoga but agar ye for example yahan par ye hai pcl5 hai ye bhi triagonal pyramidal hai lekin yahan par panchu chlorine same hai here is no bond pair uh, lone pair sorry so in sf4 ye bhi triagonal bipyramidal hai iska bhi steric number 5 hai ye bhi sp3d hai ye bhi kya hai एस पी थ्री डी है स्टेरिक नंबर दोनों का क्या है स्टेरिक नंबर टोटल नंबर ऑफ लोन पेयर एंड बॉन्ड पेयर इस कार्ड स्टेरिक नंबर अराउंड द सेंट्रल एटम दोनों का स्टेरिक नंबर स्टूडेंट्स क्या है फाइव है बट इट एज अ होल इट इज नॉन पोलर एंड इट इज एज अ होल वट पोलर और फॉर एग्जाम्पल एस सी एल फोर एटसेट्रा सो सच मालिक्यूल्स विल हैव रिजल्टेंट डायपोल मोमेंट इन विच 
there is unequal distribution of charge or electron around the nucleus atom. Inshallah, in next video, I will also solve some more important MCQs, which will be based on this topic. So, you should watch this video in detail to have a clear knowledge and concept about dipole moment. Thank you.